Okay, I'm going to do a little video to demonstrate and explain something new. Um, so what we have here is a new laser setup. Um, so I'll just explain a little bit about what it is and why we need it. Um, so laser in New Zealand and other countries is becoming um, a lot more widespread um, and some of the radar detectors do not have very good laser um, detection performance and um, so something like the Yinzen R8 for instance you can take a direct hit with laser and it doesn't give you any alert at all let alone another car around you being hit by laser before you are um, and or getting an immediate warning from the sensor to actually give you some time to adjust your speed to at least reduce your ticket or something. Um, so yeah essentially what we have here is a wireless um, laser sensor. So we've got the Indian R8 here which is just a standard Yundan R8. Then we have a new laser head. So it's not a jammer, it's just a laser sensor. It's a very, very good laser sensor, but it is wirelessly connected through to this uh, transmitter module. And that wirelessly connects to a receiver module. Now the receiver module is designed to fit inside and be hardwired inside your radar detector. So the transmitter module gets wirelessly installed in the front of your car. So these connections go to your battery and then that goes into your car with the laser head mounted at the front of your car. Then you have this module installed in your radar detector and this then transmits its own signal directly to the laser um, hard detection hardware in the radar detector. So essentially, the, something like the Union R8 can really only detect very very close to the laser beam itself whereas this sensor not only is it mounted at the front of your vehicle where you're more likely to be hit but it can actually detect far far outside the laser beam because it's actually def um, detecting the um, scattering of the laser beam as it passes through air so the water molecules in the air scatter the beam and it's enough for a sensor like that to be able to pick it up much further outside the beam than being hit by the beam directly. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the receiver module over here. So the receiver module itself just has a 12 volt power supply and it's I've soldered it onto a um, standard RJ11 Just going to plug that in, and so that's now plugged in. So that would be inside. Essentially, that replicates your socket of your radar detector. So this is all inside your radar detector. Um, and then, if we power up this system, so connect the battery, and then the. Yundan R8 is now on. The laser sensor is now on. And when that powers up, it wirelessly connects to this module over here. So that's now wirelessly connected to the transmitter module over here. And so I'm in a confined space at the moment. I'm in the garage, so this could go anywhere. Um, so I've got the Stalker laser LiDAR gun. 
and I'm probably going to get alerts from everything because the doors are shut but anyway so if we let's have a look so the little sensor on there you should see that little red light flashing when it detects a alert there we go firing the laser gun and even though that laser head is right next to the Union R8 the Indian R8 is not detecting, but that laser sensor is. Stop firing. There we go. As soon as I fire the gun, it detects me. The laser gun is not pointing at the sensors. It could be pointing outside the garage door. Maybe I'll open the garage door in a minute. If I point the gun directly at the R8, there we go. Everything's alerting. But if I point somewhere else, the Indian R8 is not detecting. But even though the sensor is right next to the R8, the sensor is detecting the signal and it's wirelessly transmitting to the receiver module. And with that receiver module, if that had been installed in the R8, it would make the R8 alert. So the R8 at the moment cannot alert. The laser sensor can pick up the signal outside the laser beam. Yep. So that is pretty much what it does. Um, I've been running a similar system for a while now and I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, I haven't had time to do more testing on this actual system yet. Um, so I'm quite keen to know how often it falses alert at all. The system I've got in my car I've been running um, for a while and that has not given me any false alerts at all. Um, whether this system's as good as that I'm not sure but in terms of the laser detection performance it's at least as good as what I've got in my car at the moment. So I'm really pleased with the laser detection performance. I haven't had time to do full testing on it yet um, but yeah that's what I'm going to be doing in coming weeks, months and um, yeah we'll see how this goes but at the moment I'm really really pleased with this new product um, yeah I'm hoping that we should be able to have this on sale soon it's not full jamming so it's not illegal it's purely a detection laser system just like what's on the R8 it's just a much better system yep okay <laughs>